What's up, wrestling fans? Welcome to episode number 245 of Smart Out Moments Smack Talk Podcast. Take two, because we had some issues before. We're going to try to do this all over again and bring you guys the same things that have been happening throughout the past couple of weeks and so that we are going to catch up on here. I am your host, Tony Mango. Joining me on the mic for this episode, we've got Mike Payton. Hey. We got Steven Wago. Hey. <laughs> Say hey. Yeah. All right, guys, we have hot tags coming up in part two. Our rest hold break is in part three. Fantasy League is at the end of the show, right after our main event, which is going to be Superstar Scores, Shelton Benjamin. And part one is the same that has always been as far as the five-point uh, structure that we've been doing quite a bit lately. That's the Ask Him, the wrestling trivia question of the week. So if you don't know what that is, it's pretty simple. There are two questions that tie in together in some fashion. The first one goes to the panel, and the second one goes to the audience. We're going to backtrack to last week to talk about those questions before we get into this week's set. And since Shelton Benjamin's been on my mind lately with him coming back, the questions last week were about Shelton himself. So the question to the panel was, who did Shelton Benjamin face in his debut match on WWE programming? And the... Uh, Answer for that was he defeated Justin Credible on Sunday Night Heat, July 29th, 2002. His first match in the company that wasn't televised was against Rob Conway, another Sunday Night Heat match that was in uh, 2000. The question to the audience was, who did Shelton Benjamin wrestle in his last match with WWE that was televised? And that was the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania 26. He lost that to Jack Swagger, of all people. Very forgettable. But his last actual match that wasn't televised was where he defeated Kurt Hawkins on SmackDown 2011. So it's pretty interesting that Kurt Hawkins might be coming back to SmackDown too, just around the same time as Shelton Benjamin. But let's get into this week's set of questions. And since Jinder Mahal returned this week, let's talk about Jinder Mahal in the same kind of capacity. So the question to you guys, who defeated Jinder Mahal in his last televised match on SmackDown prior to this whole week? Rusev? Nope. Wait, go, you gotta guess? Nah. It was El Torito. Mm. <laughs> he lost to him May 27th, 2014. And uh, for those who want to know his last match beyond that, he wrestled three live events where he teamed up with Drew McIntyre and Hornswoggle to lose to Los Matadores. So that guy's on the upswing from uh, beating Heath Slater as opposed to losing to El Torito. But the question to the audience, who was Jinder Mahal's first opponent on his WWE television debut? If you think you know the answer or you want to take a guess, leave a comment below or send a tweet at Smartout Moment with the hashtag Ask Him. And next week I'll tell you the answer and anything else that we need to run down. But we need to get into part two coming up next, Hot Tags of the Week. Stay tuned, everybody, and click on that video. <laughs> 